हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आर टुडे टॉपिक इज स्पेसिफिक हीट एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम एंड स्पेसिफिक हीट एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर एंड विद इन द लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट एंथेल्पी ऑल्सो सो लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक स्पेसिफिक हीट एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम एंड स्पेसिफिक हीट एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्पेसिफिक हीट एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम specific heat at constant volume a uh, specific heat at constant volume is generally the rate of change of internal energy with respect to temperature when the volume is constant this is the definition of specific heat at constant volume this is rate of change of internal energy with respect to temperature when the volume is constant when the volume is constant we can generally denote the specific heat by uh, specific heat at constant volume by cv and this is as per the definition the rate of change of internal energy with respect to temperature so it will be delta u by delta t at constant volume so this will be the formula Uh, of uh, specific uh, specific heat at constant volume we can write this for constant volume process for constant volume process we can write this as delta u at this is constant volume so uh, this is uh, delta u at v equal to c v d t and if we are taking temperature limit from t1 to t2 so it will be integration of t1 to t2 c v d t and according to first law of thermodynamics generally for closed system we consider for closed system the first law of thermodynamics the first law of thermodynamic is first law of thermodynamics is you all know the first law is q equal to delta u plus w this is the first law of thermodynamics so we can write this as dq equal to delta u plus d w if we consider here this is the uh, w is the work so if we consider this is the summation of uh, all kind of work in the system and if we are considering here only pdb work if we consider here only pdv work rest of the work are negligible and we are considering only pdb work here then uh, in that case other work and uh, we are considering pdv work and other work are absent so in this condition this dq equal to delta u plus pdv this will be the equation for pdv work only and here we are considering volume is constant here we are considering the volume is constant volume is constant so here this dv equal to 0 so the equation will be dq equal to delta u we have the delta u so we have the equation for delta u so it will be q at constant volume will be 
T1 to T2, we are considering the temperature element from T1 to T2. So, it will be Cv dt. This is the Cv dt. Uh, from t, uh, integration from T1 to T2 Cv dt is equivalent to uh, change in internal energy at constant volume. So, it will be equal to this change in internal energy at constant volume equal to Q at constant volume. So, we can say here the internal energy of the system change with change in heat transfer at constant volume. Here Q is not a property. It depends on the path of the system. But Cv is a property, uh, property of the system and it does not depend on the path of the system. If we write here, if we multiply uh, this specific heat at constant volume with mass, with unit mass, so this will be known as, we are denoting this one as Cv. So, this Cv is the heat capacity. This is the heat capacity at constant volume. This is called the heat capacity at constant volume. If we multiply this specific heat at constant volume by with uh, mass, so this will be equivalent to heat capacity at constant volume and this is denoted by capital Cv and the unit is joule per Kelvin. Now let's proceed towards specific heat at constant pressure. Specific heat at constant pressure. So, this specific heat at constant pressure is generally defined as change in enthalpy with respect to temperature when the pressure is constant. Here, this is defined as change in and enthalpy with respect to temperature with respect to temperature when pressure is constant change in enthalpy with respect to temperature when the pressure is constant is called specific heat at constant pressure and it is denoted by Cp and the equation for this is change in enthalpy with respect to temperature at constant pressure. Here H is the enthalpy. H is defined as enthalpy and here T is the temperature And here P is the pressure. So before knowing about the specific heat at constant pressure, we just need to know about the enthalpy first. Enthalpy. Enthalpy is a property of system. So I will tell you about enthalpy first. Then I will describe about the specific heat at constant pressure. What is enthalpy? Enthalpy is generally defined as we are denoting enthalpy by H. So the formula of the enthalpy is U plus PV. This equation is defining the enthalpy. Enthalpy is equivalent to U plus PV. Here U is the internal energy. P is the pressure and V is the volume. So, this equation is defining the enthalpy or the property of the system. Uh, we already know or we already considered that the internal energy change is equal to heat transfer at constant volume where there is no work except PDV. In earlier, uh, in, in, in earlier topic, I discussed this. So, here 
we can consider this equation or this type of condition for constant pressure also that condition is for the constant volume and here we are considering the same equation for constant pressure the equation was dq equal to du plus p dv here we are considering constant pressure we are considering this equation for constant pressure so here when the pressure is constant this equation will be this equation uh, for constant pressure we generally taking this p dv so here for constant pressure we can write this as dpv this this condition we are taking for constant pressure so at constant pressure the equation will be dq equal to this is for constant pressure we are considering this is for constant pressure so du plus dpv so we can write this equation as dq at p d u plus p v so we can write this as d q p equal to d h this u plus p v is denoting the enthalpy this equation is for the enthalpy so d q at constant pressure equal to d h this is the equation so we can say a uh, the specific enthalpy this dh is showing the specific enthalpy so the specific enthalpy change with change in heat transfer at constant pressure with, with the, uh, by this equation we can say the specific enthalpy change uh, with change in heat transfer at constant pressure and here the internal energy internal energy u and enthalpy h both are dependent on temperature generally for ideal gases so for constant pressure for constant pressure generally the equation from the specific heat at constant pressure the equation will be del h at p at constant pressure will be cp dt and if we are taking the temperature limit from t1 to t2 so it will be integration from t1 to t2 cp dt now for generally for closed system the first law of thermodynamics is first law of thermodynamics is you know the equation dq equal to du plus p dv this was the equation i discussed in in earlier section and we know the equation as h equal to u plus pv this is the equation of enthalpy we can write this equation as dh equal to du plus for pv it will be p dv plus v dp this is the equation we can get from this equation of enthalpy change in enthalpy equal to du plus this pv will be pdv plus vdp now we know this du plus pdv is equal to dq so we can write here as dh equal to dq plus vdp we can also write this equation as dq equal to dh minus vdp we are taking this equation for constant pressure here so the dp will be zero because pressure is constant so the equation will be this equation is for constant pressure so equation will be dq at constant pressure will be equal to dh so here we can we can write this equation as this can be q at 
that constant pressure equal to integration from T1 to T2 Cp dt. This will be the equation of heat transfer at constant pressure in terms of specific heat at constant pressure. Here Cp is the property of the system. Here Cp is the property of system. Specific heat is always a property of system and if we write here and if we multiply this specific heat at constant pressure with mass of the system, this will be equivalent to yes, Cp, this is capital Cp, I am denoting this as a capital Cp. So, this will be the heat capacity at constant, sorry, heat heat capacity at constant pressure and the unit is joule per kelvin for this Cp. Generally for isolated system, isolated systems are what? Isolated systems where, uh, where uh, neither mass nor energy is transferred between the system and surrounding. That is isolated system. So for this isolated system where there is no interaction between the system and surrounding. So we consider the dq is 0 and dw is 0 and the energy, the change in energy, we are denoting the energy is by dE. So, the change in energy will be 0. So, we can consider here the energy for isolated system is constant. Here, change in energy will be 0 for isolated system. So, we can consider here the energy of the system is constant for isolated system is constant. Here I will discuss one more topic that is perpetual motion machine of first kind PMM1. What this perpetual motion machine of first kind exactly? Uh, so according to first law of thermodynamics, uh, what the first law of thermodynamics saying? Energy neither be created nor destroyed, but it is only transformed from uh, it, it is only tra transformed from one form to another form. But the perpetual motion machine is saying this PMM1 is a machine which continuously supply work without any heat loss in the system. It continuously supply work without any heat loss in the system. It means the Q is equal to W. In this diagram you can easily see or you can easily understand through this diagram. Here if we are supplying some heat to the engine and it is giving uh, the work. So, according to this, uh, we can say the Q equal to W. Similarly, in this diagram, the work we are providing or work we are doing on the machine and it is giving the same amount of heat. So, it is also saying here Q equal to W, but it is not at all possible. This PMM1 or perpetual motion machine of first kind is not at all possible. Uh, it, why? Because it is saying Q equal to W. But in actually, why it is impossible? There is always a heat loss happen to get the work done. It means there is always Q will not equal to W or Q may be greater than W. So, the, this perpetual motion machine of first kind is impossible. This is just imaginary. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures.